before you use your Hazero, you first take your cleaning roller and soak it in water, no hotter than 120 degrees, for 5 to 10 minutes. Alright, so we're going to clean this spot on the ground with the Hazero. So we're going to turn it on. That spot is gone. Look at how nice and clean this is there is making the floors. Well, it's a lot easier than a hurricane mop where you gotta go do, 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 do. So you can actually paint fast if you want to like this. Because it's designed to clean fast. Alright, so you can see right here that we have our clean water tank and here's our dirty water tank. Our dirty water tank is empty so I'm excited for you to see what it looks like after we're done cleaning these hard floors with the Hisero. So we're going to look right here and you can see that is a completely clean dirt tray and it's a nice clean brush roller and everything because that's a nice self clean feature. So we're going to close this we're going to wheel it to where we want to clean. Start cleaning here. So here we go. Look at that clean pass. I'll do a second one just because it cleaned on the first one, but you know me. Look at that. Look at that, wow. It's doing a very good job. You can definitely see 
Right. Things right up against the edges. He is loving attention. Yes. That never comes off when I use my swivel. Always attack the dirt from the front of the machine. I go slower than you really have to just because I like to go slow. But you can clean like this. After you use your Hazero a couple times, you can just see like go fast like this. As you can see, it's cleaning very good going fast like you don't have to go slow I'm just so used to going slow with the Bissell Crosswave that it's hard for me to remember that you can clean fast you don't have to go slow so you can turn on the second setting if you want to if you have like a really heavy stain or a really dirty area Now you can see how shiny it makes the floor. It's beautiful. The floor is a little bit worn right here, but you can see it's still making it come out really nice and clean. Wow.
Look at the color difference in the floor you can see right there. Without vacuuming, you pick up all of that. Remember that I go slower than you have to with the Hazero. It's also easier for you to see, you know. Look. All right, so we have some water spilled on the ground. We're doing some pressure washing outside. So I'm gonna clean this up with the Hazero because it's for dry and wet messes. So I'm gonna turn it on. You can see we have some pine needles as well as, well as some other dirt from the rug that was there. So here we go. There's the water. We're gonna go right over the water. Look at that, spotless. You can hear the seal on the floor. All right, so it has turned itself off. Let's see. It says we are out of clean water. So that's awesome. When you run out of clean water, it tells you and lets you know that you need to put some water in the machine. So that's awesome. Let's look at the dirty water. Wow, isn't that crazy? Right there, you can see we have filled the dirty water tank. That is the water from the floor. Look, there's like no large particles in that water at all. It's just dirty water. Let's take a look at the heavy particles down here. Press it, open it. Wow, look at that. Isn't that incredible? I love this machine. That is all the dirt and the hair and everything from the floor. So then you would just take that out and put it in the trash. So we are going to actually keep cleaning. So I'm going to empty the dirty water tank and fill the clean water tank. Please excuse the sound of the washing machine. We are in the washroom. So we're going to pull this out right here. Set this down here so it doesn't fall. Just take it out. You can see there's the sensor. We were at the bottom sensor. So the top sensor wasn't on you know, telling you that it was full. All right. So we're gonna empty this. You can see this is the water that we're able to get off of the ground. So it's empty. Wow. From floors that didn't even look that dirty, that is the water. There's no large particles in here that will clog your sink drain. Like if you were to empty out the abyssal crossway, you'd have to have a strainer or something or empty it outside then you still have to eventually go and rake up all of what you empty outside like with the rainbow but right here that's all you do right here you just rinse it just like this make sure it's nice and clean you dry off both of these and then you place them back in your machine all right so we have put in the clean water and we have emptied the dirty water as you can see so we're gonna take a look. This is how full this is. You can see that there's still some room that we can add some dirt to this. Close that, lock it in place. Turn it on. You hear that seal. Look at that. It 
She said that would not come clean with the Swiffer. She tried and tried, and it came clean with this. But that is from, that's what the floor looked like first. So uh, 14, 13, 14 years of this rug being right there, this is what happens. The floor changes colors. All right, so we're gonna speed up a little bit with the cleaning and use it how you're supposed to use it. I know I've been going slow, so here we go. See how I came back over the clean and moved over, flick my wrist left to the dirty. Come back over the clean, flick your wrist and go over to the dirty. See, make sure your curtains are the proper height so it doesn't pull them in. It can clean under tables with ease. Cleans right up against the edge. Has such, it has a very good seal. It's a very durable seal too. I haven't noticed any wear or tear off of it. There's a shark. Look how low you can clean. I just cleaned underneath this chair. Here's some stain right here. We'll put it on setting two. Let's go over this a little bit slower than you would because it's a stain. It's a really set in stain, so just scrub it and scrub it and scrub it. Look at that. Just a little bit of scrubbing, hardly any effort at all. Just wiggle it on, on the stain. Just wiggle it. And look, the stain is now up. The Bissell Crosswave, would, I know, would not have gotten that stain off. I would have had to scrub it by hand. Because I have had similar stains on my floors. Look at that, right underneath here. Make sure you stay away from the cords if you don't have them lifted off the ground. So now we're going with the groove of the floor. So we've cleaned this much floor and we have that much water left and that is the water that we have gotten off of the floors. Look how dirty that water is. So let's continue.
Look at this. See how I'm doing it. I make that a big point because a lot of people who get this machine, they don't use it correctly. And so when they don't use it correctly, it doesn't clean properly. So they return it and report his error to Amazon and say the product doesn't work correctly, when in reality it's user error. Because if you come back over the dirty like this, it's not gonna clean. You have to attack the dirt from the front like this. That's a big point with the Hizero. You see how fast I'm cleaning? I'm covering a wide area in a short amount of time when I sped up. In the kitchen, I went a little bit slower, you know, because it's the kitchen. And so, you always want the kitchen to be a little bit cleaner than the rest of everywhere else. But look at this. Oh, look at that. We have a little spill of rice on the ground. Let's pick it up, shall we? Do you see how quick and easy it picked up that rice off the ground? Now imagine that, cleaning up all of your messes at home. I mean, you see how fast I am cleaning. It's not a beautiful door. I love these statues. I do gently tap things. If you hear me run up against something, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I just hit things. Be careful of things like Christmas tree skirts and blankets, anything that might be hanging low. Here we have We'll see what that did. That might have gotten wrapped around the one brush roller for the hair wrapping. That'll be a good demonstration on how it wraps the hair. The long hair. So then it's easy to clean off.
All right, and so now you can just recline it like this and go to your next location right here. All right, so we have used up all of the water. So let's take a look at the dirty water. So we were able to clean up all of these floors. As you can see, we got this far in on our second tank of water. All we have left is this one little room right there. So it almost did the whole entire house on just two tanks of clean water. So here's the dirty water. Look at the dirty water. Isn't that crazy? This does such a great job in cleaning the hard floors. The proof is in the water. Look at that, that's just dirty water. This machine is incredible, so let's empty it for you right now. All right, so we're gonna open it right here. This is everything we picked up. You can see right here, this is where the long hair gets wrapped around. So you take this out and clean this off of the hair when it gets a lot of hair. You don't have to clean this every time. It's not gonna hurt it if it gets hair wrapped around it. You know, this is just storage for the long hair. It puts all the short hair in here. So you can see there's all the short hair, the cat leather, the rice, all of the dirt and everything that would have been, you know, picked up by the vacuum. You don't have to vacuum before you use this. It's incredible, and I love this machine. You can see, it's just, the brush roll is nice and clean and spotless, and I just, I really love this machine. So let's take a look at the water now. Look at that, isn't that incredible? There is the dirty water. Let's take this out. Right here, empty this. It does such a great job in cleaning the floors. I am so impressed with this Hazero. You need this Hazero. This Hazero is incredible. I really love this Hazero. So please let me know what you think about this machine. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It's easy to clean around obstacles too. As you can see, it has really good maneuverability. Look at that. Clean right underneath the chair. Look, while maintaining contact with the ground underneath the chair while maintaining contact with the ground. Just gotta turn around because we want to come to the dirt at the front. right up against the edge. There's some pet hair. Oops, you know me. Always bumping stuff. All right, so we're gonna go to the washroom. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna clean this washroom with the Hazero. I'm going to see how well it performs on this type of flooring. So we're going to recline it and hit the on button. Yeah. 
Look at that. It's cleaning it so good. Clean right up against the edge. We have the cat litter. So we're going to see how well this performs on cat litter. I've never tried it on a lot of cat litter before. But you can clearly see the Hazero cleaning the floor. It's cleaning the cat litter out of the grout line. It's picking up every piece of cat litter. So right here we have quite a bit of cat litter. Look at that. Of course, underneath the edge it can't get, but you're right there, right up against the edge, you can see the nice clean line where the Hazero was able to clean the cat litter. So this does a fantastic job right here. You can see a little bit of a stain right there. So let's go right over this. What? That is incredible. Let's clean right up against this, shall we? Look, look at that. Isn't that awesome? This does such a fantastic job. This is so good. I am really in love with this carpet cleaner. If you're gonna be in love with something, you be in love with this carpet cleaner. I'm in love with this hard floor cleaner. It does such a fantastic job. It's gotten up all the cat leather. It's cleaned the grout lines free of the cat leather. Fantastic, let's take a look at it, shall we? We're gonna take it and let it do a self clean. Just let it clean the brush roll. Move it back and forth if you want to. All right, so the brush roll should be nice and clean right now. Let's take a look. Press, lift open, look at that. This is nice and clean. You can see the hair and the long parts of the tinsel that got wrapped around just like the hair would. That's designed to catch the hair. So this is designed to get all of the long hair. So things wrapped around this are okay. Like I said, you don't have to mess with any of this every time you clean. Once a week, you should probably deep clean this machine. And in another video, I will show you how to fully and completely deep clean this machine once a week. So right here, this is all of the kitty litter that we were able to get up. Look at that. All, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. I love this machine because it does such a fantastic job. It didn't get the kitty litter all caked up and all nasty. It's all right here in this. That is fantastic. I really love this Hazero. So please let me know what you think about this. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. So we're gonna empty this Hazero water for the last time. All right, this is fantastic. Look at this. Isn't that something? This is so good. This is such a fantastic machine. I really love this machine. It does such a great job.